Our world needs more of the University of Guelph. It needs more of what we stand for. It needs more of our knowledge in action as we take breakthrough ideas and bring them to life in powerful and important ways that helps change people's lives. Success requires leadership. Our eighth president, Dr. Franco Vaccarino, has led with determination, integrity, and passion. His commitment to inclusivity and to planning for the future has helped the University of Guelph create a stable foundation now and into the future. His support for students, faculty, and staff has encouraged us to excel, and his conviction has connected us to our community and to the world. University of Guelph is a comprehensive university. Our mission is driven by exceptional faculty, students, and staff, and it's truly our people who bring ideas to life. Our strategic framework is helping chart our path, and our research prioritizes turning knowledge into action. We find solutions to global challenges that sit at the intersection of animal, human, and environmental health, an approach that has never been more important for our world. We improve our student experience by investing in teaching, experiential learning, and academic spaces. And our commitment to sustainability, internationalization, and equity builds a foundation for the university to thrive. Over the past six years, University of Guelph continues to rank as a top comprehensive and research-intensive university. Government and industry partners invest in our research, our people, and our programs. Capital improvements enhance our student experience and wellness, while our friends and alumni provide unprecedented support for our mission. His belief in our distinct University of Guelph culture has helped us tell our story and have a little fun along the way. Environmental health, animal health, human health, and you bring all that together, it's really about that concept of one health. This is something we deeply believe in. What we do and what, what we strive to do here at the University of Guelph, quite simply, it's all about our efforts to improve life. Friends, let's do this. Hey, President Vaccarino, will help? Absolutely. Should I do this up or? Mustard? Of course I do. Haha. <laughs> When's the coffee break? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Malcolm Campbell, and I have the privilege of serving as the Vice President of Research here at the University of Guelph. The University of Guelph of course, sits on the traditional territory of the Attawandaran people, and more recently, the treaty territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit. We want to thank all of you for joining us for the celebration of President Franco Vaccarino. We know that this is not the way that Franco had envisaged finishing his presidency here at University of Guelph. The last three months certainly are not how anybody would have imagined finishing their presidency. That said, this celebration hopefully will provide a wonderful capstone on what has been a remarkable presidency. For the last six years, Franco Vaccarino has overseen 
an utter transformation of the university in terms of both growth and immense successes. Franco always says, begin whatever it is that you're doing by answering the question, why? Today, the answer to that why question is, we want to celebrate someone who has made such an important difference to us here at the university. That game-changing difference has been recognized not only internally here at the University of Guelph, but also externally by a wide array of people, politicians, donors, everyday people. We're going to turn things over at the beginning of today's celebration to some of those people who've had an external lens on the university and have watched the unprecedented, amazing things that Franco Vaccarino has accomplished during his presidency here. Hello everyone, my name is Ross Romano and I'm your Minister of Colleges and Universities and I wanted to take this opportunity to offer very special congratulations and best wishes to Dr. Franco Vaccarino on your retirement, Franco. After six years as President of the University of Guelph, you've led this institution to great things and to be a global powerhouse in the agri-foods and veterinary sciences sector. And I wish you the very best on your retirement. It's been a great time getting to know you this past year. I've enjoyed our conversations, breaking bread with you, telephone calls, and I'm gonna miss all of our time together. I wish you the very best in your retirement. Tanti auguri e mille grazie. Thank you, Franco. Franco Vaccarino in three words. Inspirational. Brilliant. Passion. Curious. Dedicated. Innovator. Vision. Kind. Kind. Leader. Leadership. For me, three words. He is Italian. I think the favorite moment was, I just got elected as mayor. You were just uh, chosen as the president and we were putting the shovel in the ground for the athletic center at the U of G. And uh, we both looked at each other. We both met, you know, shook hands and, and we both looked at each other and said, now what do we do? Favorite story of Dr. Vaccarino would be seeing him in a cowboy hat. Hmm, yeah, that was a good one. I think my favorite memory of Dr. Vaccarino was a video uh, posted to Instagram of he and Griff touring the university. It made me realize just how approachable he was and is, and uh, that the students truly were his priority. My favorite story was up in Ottawa. We, we visited the home of the Indian High Commissioner and the discussions that we were having moved into, into jazz and into the enjoyment of music. And, but the discussion went to the son of the Indian High Commissioner, who Franco then spent the entire evening speaking with. The Indian High Commissioner was enjoying it as much as I was. Every time Franco was in Ottawa or heard that I'd be at the university, he would reach out for a meeting, even briefly, and we would talk about all things U of G. I remember meeting with him and his wife in Ottawa, in my office. It was such a pleasure to have Franco and Cosmina visit me there and bring a little bit of the University of Guelph hospitality to Ottawa. I would say your legacy is very easy for me to identify and that was your work with the new strategic plan. Franco didn't try to remake the image of the university. Instead, he took our traditional strengths and he built on them. He created new alliances he enhanced our reputation worldwide and was able to raise significant financial support for many of our existing programs and many, many new initiatives. I think that it will be his research in mental health and addiction. But I think one of the most important ones is just the tagline, Improve Life. Uh, and I just want to say how much I appreciated working with you on many issues, but especially in the way in which you interacted with students who are advocating divesting from fossil fuels. And I just want to say how much I deeply admire the way in which you stick handled and navigated that conversation through to its final and successful conclusion. Looking at the legacy that he's leaving at the University of Guelph is really the commitment to health on all life forms of the planet and particularly the mental health aspect is something that I think is a lasting legacy and the continuing work that I know that Franco will be involved with. Franco has certainly left his mark on the University of Guelph, elevating its reputation as an integrated, comprehensive university among the best in Canada and recognized around the world. 
My late husband Ken and I enjoyed a friendship with Cosmino and Franco since they arrived on campus, and I'll miss them both. But weren't we fortunate to have Franco as our president for these past six years? His legacy of leadership will be a lasting one. Thank you. Franco, I'm gonna miss you. Wishing you all the best. Thank you, Franco, for everything you've, you're, you've done, everything you're doing, and everything that you will do in the future. And I hope we'll be able to continue to work with you in the next chapter of your life. Thank you, Dr. Bacarino, for everything you brought to the University of Guelph in your time as president. Cheers. Cheers. Hello, Franco and Cosmina. Congratulations on your retirement as president of the University of Guelph. Stu and Kim Lang here with socially distanced greetings from our summer bubble at the cottage. We've been asked to give three words to describe Franco. Uh, that's obviously not enough words to, uh, to give us a proper description of Franco, but my three are kind, intelligent, and friendly. Franco is a family man. He loves Cosmina and his children. He's an academic, a musician, and an athlete. And what is our favorite memory of Franco and Cosmina? Obviously, there were a lot. They were very kind and generous with their time to meet with Kim and I. But I think it was the dinners at the president's house, uh, sitting around talking. We had great conversations, great food. And I loved asking Franco questions about life in the university. And I think we solved a lot of the world's problems sitting around that dining room table. And one thing Franco will be remembered for is navigating the university successfully through some very difficult times. So we, we wish, wish Franco, Franco and Cosmina, Cosmina the best, best of success and, and every happiness in all future endeavors. endeavors. Be, Be well, well and go, go Griffins. <laughs> In addition to our first speakers, we heard from many, many other people who wanted to share their perspectives, their thoughts about Franco and his presidency here at University of Guelph. Well, it turns out that you can still participate. You can let Franco know your thoughts and perspectives about him uh, by connecting with the URL, the video link that's beneath uh, the shot here in this particular video. So please do contribute your thoughts and perspectives to Franco and his family making use of that particular video link. In addition to that, we've collated already a number of uh, videos and commentaries from people, uh, their perspectives on uh, Franco and his time at uh, University of Guelph. Now, if we were to stitch all of those together, we'd literally have you here for probably days and days. Instead, we paired it back to a nice three, four hour uh, feature length movie. No, in all seriousness, we haven't done that at all, of course. We paired things back into a really nice, enjoyable segment that we're sure all of you are going to enjoy. It's called Franco Stories. My name is Dee, I'm a videographer, and I've had the privilege of having many collaborations with Mr. Franco Vaccarino, or the Prezzo, as I like to call him. Now, I don't have one particular story, but every time we would film, you know, Franco was a bit of a celebrity on campus. Students, faculty would often walk by, and sometimes they would just stop and watch us film, or they would take a picture from afar. Now, what was so cool is often Franco would halt or pause production, stop filming, so he could stop and talk to these individuals and that was always really special. He would ask what program they were in or how their day was going or how their year was going or you know how classes were going on campus and so that was always really special to me. Uh, it was just a reflection of how great of a person he was. Uh, he'd always you know stop task at hand uh, to check on individuals that were at the University of Guelph and uh, I'm really gonna miss filming with him. Any of you who have been together with Franco in meetings over the course of the last six years know that there are some recurrent phrases that he uses, vaccarinoisms, uh, as we call them, uh, that are distinguishing features of the thinking of Franco Vaccarino. We've assembled them here together in a top 10 list. Here you go.
And now for a smooth transition, here's another Franco Vaccarino story. Hey everyone, my name is Cameron and I recently graduated from biomedical science from the University of Guelph. And for the past two years, I was a tour guide for admission services. And while I'm giving my tours, the biggest thing that I emphasize is our amazing campus community and the culture that we have on campus. So my favorite thing when I'm giving a tour is when my friends come by and they're waving out, they're like, hey, how's it going? They're like saying hi to my tour group and really showing that we have a really welcoming campus. One time when I was actually giving a tour, I saw President Vaccarino or Franco come by and I waved at him. I previously know him from my experience on the Board of Governors and he came up and he actually started to speak with the tour group. He started asking them questions like, hey, where's everyone from? What are you interested in? And was answering questions to my tour group. But the funniest part was he actually never introduced himself to the tour group. So when Frank, of course, being a very busy guy that he is, when he left, um, the tour group started asking like, who was that? And I'm like, that was the president of the university. <laughs> so afterwards, that's the only thing that they could talk about. Every stop that they went to, it's like, does he do this all the time? Like, is he always this approachable? Is he always walking around campus? And I was like, to be honest, yes. And I think that's the biggest thing and the biggest memory that I'll take from Vaccarino is that creating this welcoming community and this welcoming culture on campus is not just the students, it stems from faculty members and even higher up staff as well. And I think that's something I'll always remember about President Vaccarino. Cam's story is a wonderful one in that it underscores the one-to-one -one relationships that Franco establishes. In fact, having worked together with Franco over the course of the last 11 years, I can tell you firsthand that he places a very high premium on relationships. And there's no relationship that he places a higher premium on than the one that he has with his family. His relationship with his partner, Cosmina, with their daughters, Oriana and Alicia, and with his broader family are really a centerpiece for Franco in his life. And it's something that I believe functions as a remarkable example of who Franco Vaccarino is somebody who places a value in all relationships and especially those that are closest to us. An incredible feature of Franco's presidency at University of Guelph has been relationship building. It's a centerpiece of our university framework that he established, connecting communities. And Franco has done just that. He's connected with the private and the public sector. He's connected with an incredible donor community and he's really connected amazingly with our alumni. Franco, on behalf of our University of Guelph Alumni Association and the hundreds of thousands of Guelph alumni, a sincere thank you. From the onset of becoming our president, you made a point very early on that you wanted to connect with our alumni and our board about the magic that is the uniqueness of Guelph, that Guelphiness that many of us refer to, that only our Guelph alumni feel and understand. And you made this a clear priority in the strategic direction of our university. You made it well known that the world needed more of this wealthiness and our alumni who are improving life and changing the world. You were a true advocate of celebrating the alumni contributions to our shared mandate of improving life and truly connected with our alumni when you had the chance to meet them. We are so pleased to learn of the $20,000 gift you are making in support of our University of Guelph students. This gesture and incredible donation shows your continued commitment to our university and also the profound impact you'll continue to have. I'm also so happy to announce today that our University of Guelph Alumni Association is proud to make you an honorary member of our alumni community in recognition of your distinguished service, strong leadership, tireless commitment, and exemplary contributions for advancing the University of Guelph's mission and vision. Welcome officially to the Guelph Alumni family. Thank you, Franco, for your incredible leadership, professional and personal contributions you've made to the University of Guelph. We're better because of it. Thank you for showing us and our community what it truly means to improve life. Now, speaking of relationships, if you've been watching Franco's videos at the beginning and the end of every term, you know that he has a really extra special relationship. And we'd like to turn to that relationship now.
Come on, Griff. You can do it. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of what? See you around, buddy. Oh, wow. That was really touching. And now, a word from the man of the hour himself, Franco Vaccarino. When I first arrived in my inaugural address six years ago, I began by saying that the world needs more of the University of Guelph. And that's all about our values. Values that speak to being authentic, to being real, to being compassionate and caring for others. At the University of Guelph, there's this incredible sense of community, that sense of shared purpose, and a commitment to excellence. Values that, quite frankly, drew me to this university. These values have been on full display during our global pandemic. I've been incredibly inspired by how we've come together and that powerful sense of community and common purpose. Honestly, I could never have imagined this particular exit ramp to my presidency. But in a strange sort of way, it's actually allowed all of us to witness the power of our community in full action. I have been so very moved to see how our community has reached out to support one another in so many powerful and innovative ways. Today, I want to take a moment to thank each of you, our students, our faculty, our staff, alumni, and our community partners who have made this all possible and who make it all possible. Being the president of our university has been the greatest honor and privilege of my career. And I have to say, I've absolutely loved the journey and even managed to have a little bit of fun along the way. As I wrap up my term, I know that the University of Guelph will continue to thrive and enjoy that amazing momentum, that forward-moving momentum that we've created together. And speaking of forward-moving momentum, let me also extend my warmest and heartfelt congratulations to Dr. Charlotte Yates, our incoming president. And I have to say it feels so very, very good to know that we are in excellent hands, absolutely excellent hands in the years to come with Dr. Yates coming in as our new president. I also want to thank my team for their never-ending support, their hard work, their advice, and their counsel over the last several years. You have been phenomenal colleagues. Thank you. And as we continue to face global challenges and opportunities, I know the world will continue to need more of the University of Guelph. Thank you again to our entire community for all you do for our university and for your kindness and support during my time as president. This community and this university have had a very profound effect on me personally. And I have to say that I'm so incredibly proud to be a lifetime Griffin. Thank you. Thanks folks for joining us today. Uh, please make sure to sign the virtual guest book. There'll be a URL for that that you can connect with to leave messages for Franco and his family. Uh, also, please feel free to share the video link for this particular experience for people that were unable to attend today. Uh, really important to provide them with that opportunity as well. Uh, and then finally, again, thank you folks for joining us for this celebration of the presidency of Franco Vaccarino. Finally, Franco, thank you for everything that you've done over the course of the last six years for the university that we all love. You have shown it the love and made an immense difference here at the university. You've truly shown us how to improve life. Thank you, Franco.